When running dogs in Alaska, mushers need to expect extremes in weather. The temperature can range from 50 degrees above zero to 60 degrees below zero. There might be no wind, or the wind might be gusting upwards of 50 miles an hour. Mushers can encounter snow and rain. They can encounter open rivers, glare ice, and overflow, which is thick slushy snow on the top of bodies of water. Naturalist Aldo Leopold talked about staying warm in winter, and he used principles that he referred to as the Chickadee Commandments. The Chickadee Commandments are number one, stay dry, and number two, avoid the wind. When we develop our, la our system of clothing, those are the principles that we are keeping in mind. The choice of what to wear from our head to our toes is critical not only for keeping us comfortable, but for keeping us safe. Was it cold out there? It's like 35 below. Did you stay warm? Fairly warm. But uh, the cold is trying to penetrate through all the clothing. It had warmed up to 20 some below, or 20, like 20 below at one point. So as you heard, Todd just got back from a run where it was 35 below. Let's see what he was wearing to keep him warm. Starting from the outside, we start with the over mitts. He's wearing beaver over mitts um, made of beaver fur on the outside and they've got leather palms. The fur on the back provides both insulation and waterproofing and then on the inside they're lined with a very thick polar fleece. They've got a cord attached to them that goes around our neck so that we can have them with us at all times. You can see my mitts there hanging behind me as I take off out of the starting line. Our outermost layer on top is a very warm parka. You can see two things here. One is that Todd had his, his headlamp on, and the other is that at the hood of his parka he has a fur ruff. The fur around our face plays a critical role in keeping our faces warm in the extreme cold. We also always have the headlamp attached to our hats. It's not always on, but we leave with the headlamp on even if we don't expect to be running in the dark because it's a lot easier just to plug it in than it is to try to find it in the sled if it should get dark. On our hands underneath the over mitts we wear a pair of fleece gloves and under that we wear a pair of something called wristers and the wristers serve the important role of covering the skin in between your glove and your coat sleeve. Around the neck is another place where the cold can seep in, so we wear a neck gaiter, the red thing that Todd is taking off right there, and then he's also got another neck gaiter on that's wind blocker pr properties, and that's the yellow thing that's around his neck that you'll see as he unzips his coat here. This second layer that Todd's taking off of the top is something that we call our puffy coat and it's made of a very lightweight, very warm, insulating material um, and it keeps us nice and toasty. Sometimes we wear a layer of polar fleece on top underneath the puffy coat, but tonight Todd's not doing that. Here's our hats and they've got a special pouch in the back to hold an extra bulb for our headlamp in case the bulb should burn out while we're running. We feel it's very important to have safety gear handy so that we can get to it easily in case of an emergency. There's a switch on the battery pack there on Todd's chest that turns the headlamp on and off and the, he the holster comes right off when we're done wearing the headlamp. And That's the batteries in there. Again this is the wind blocker fleece neck gaiter that he's taking off and it insulates that area of your chest that is very susceptible to getting cold. Here Todd's taking off a fleece head sock um, that we wear underneath our hats as an extra layer to help keep our heads warm. 
Here Todd's showing you some of the safety gear that we always keep in our pants pockets so that it's very handy at all times. Those were strike anywhere matches in case we should need to build a fire or make water for feeding the dogs. In another pocket we keep a Leatherman tool um, with the pliers. It's got scissors and knives and other things on it in case we need to do some sled repairs or open um, packages of food for the dogs. Here's a knife that we use for opening packages of food for the dogs, packages of booties, and it's also a safety measure in case a dog should get tangled in the lines and we would have to cut it loose. We want to be able to do that right away. We also carry a handgun with us um, in case of serious encounters with moose. Um, luckily neither of us have had to shoot a moose, but we have both uh, worried at times that we would need to. Moose can be very dangerous on the to dog teams on the trail and so many mushers carry some kind of firearm in case of emergency encounters. There are many different kinds of foot gear found among mushers as there are mushers. We've settled on bunny boots as the warmest. Todd's pulling out the felt insole there and those white things that you saw on the bottom are chemical toe warmers that help to keep our feet warm. Um, this is the thing that Todd and I have struggled with the most is keeping our feet warm. Here's Todd's wind pants that he wears on the bottom. You can see they have suspenders to help hold them up. Uh, they have zips along the side and they have lots of pockets to fit all of our safety equipment in. Underneath that Todd has on a pair of puffy pants just like our puffy coat. Lightweight, very warm and he's showing you here the inside of his puffy pants are dry but the outside is wet because he was sweating while he was working with the dogs and, and the puffy pants took his sweat and wicked it away from his body to the outside of these pants and removing it from his body kept him warm. He's got on a pair of fleece pants underneath his puffy pants and then you can see underneath all of that he has on a pair of long underwear tops and bottoms. Um, these are not cotton long underwear. Cotton absorbs moisture and holds it right next to your skin when what you want to do is get the moisture away from your skin. He's got on wool socks there underneath his boots. And here he's showing you that he had a set of chemical hand warmers inside of his overmitts just like the toe warmers inside of his boots. So the way our clothing system is designed, the inner layers take our sweat and move it away from our body to keep us dry. The outer layers protect us from the wind. And the whole package keeps us warm and safe in Alaska winters. Thank you for joining us again. Stay warm and we'll see you next time from Alaska.